Yes, sir. ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਜੇ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਸ਼ੋ ਜਿਸ ਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਐਵਰੀ ਥਰਸਡੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਰੂਬਰੂ ਹੁੰਨੇ ਆ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਨਾਲ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਐਕਟਿਵਿਸਟ ਨਾਲ ਜਾਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵੀ ਟੁਕਮਾ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਹੁੰਨੇ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਐਕਸਪਰਟ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਫਰਸਟ ਹੈਂਡ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਾ ਸਕੇ ਪਰ ਅੱਜ ਬੜੀ ਸੈਡ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ apne former prime minister brian maruni passed away <coughs> today uh, oh apne uh, 18th uh, prime minister of canada and uh, oh, he served from 1984 to 1993 and uh, at the age of uh, 84 aaj oh passed away ho gaye so our thoughts and prayers with his family and all the friends and families and the communities because the people who serve the community is not a easy job but he did a great job and he passed away today so we like to recognize him and pay our respect uh, to Mr Maruni jehde ki aaj pure ho gaye hai 84 saal di umar de vich um ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਪਾਰਲੀਮੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਫਾਰਮਾ ਕੇਅਰ ਦਾ ਬਿੱਲ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਬਿੱਲ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਹੌਲੀ ਹੌਲੀ ਆਊਗੀ ਕਿ ਕਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਕਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਦਵਾਈਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਉਹ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਚ ਮਿਲਣਗੀਆਂ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜਾਨਲਾਵਾ ਬਿਮਾਰੀਆਂ ਡਾਇਬੀਟਿਕ ਬਾਰੇ ਉਹ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਐਕਸਪੈਂਸਿਵ ਮੈਡੀਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪੀਪਲ ਅਫੋਰਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਪਰ ਉਹ ਅੱਜ ਹੀ ਟੇਬਲ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਬਿੱਲ because inna the ndp ne jehdi deal si gi ode sadka inna nu bill eh pesh karna paya te hun dekhna bhi odi details ke us so, that bill is already uh, apne table kita gaya parliament de vich <coughs> kyunki mr jagmeet singh ndp wale ne keya je bill na pass kita i will pull our support so unna di support karke kyunki ye minority government chal rahi hai kyunki election waise next year hage hai ਪਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਅੱਜ ਇਹ ਬਿੱਲ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਬਾਕੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਡੀਟੇਲਸ ਆਉਣਗੀਆਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਲਈ ਅਸੀਂ ਫੇਰ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ देयर इज अ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਔਨ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਸਿਟੀ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਸਦਕਾ ਮੈਂ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਹੈਪੀ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰਾਊਡ ਟੂ ਇਨਵਾਈਟ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਲੈਜੈਂਡਸ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਐਂਡ ਫਾਰਮਰ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰ ਹੂ ਸਰਵਡ ਸਿਟੀ ਆਫ ਸਰੀ uh for 25 years from 1983 to 2008 and uh, unna main gal baat karange kyunki jehde purane politician jehna ne community nu serve kita ya unna nu kafi knowledge hundi hai bhi hun city ch ki chal reha hai itthon di jehdi politics ki chal reha hai loki ohde bare ki sochde hai te sadiya phone line vi open hai and uh, je thon inna na puchna hai question hai gal karni hai ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਆਪਣੀ ਸਾਊਥ ਏਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੀ ਜੁੜੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਵਿਚਰਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਲੋਕੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਆ ਬਾਕੀ ਜੁੜੀ ਰਿਸੀਵਡ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਵੂਮਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਈਅਰ ਫਰਮ ਸਰੀ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਵੂਮਨਸ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਐਸ ਦਾ ਸੋਲਿਸਟਰ ਜਨਰਲ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਅਵਾਰਡ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਫੀ ਅਵਾਰਡ ਮਿਲੇ ਆ ਐਂਡ ਇਫ ਆਈ ਐਕਸਕਿਊਜ਼ ਮੀ ਇਫ ਆਈ ਕੀਪ ਔਨ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨਿੰਗ all her credentials and all her background then we will not have much time to talk to her she is now active in semi mo uh, federal senior liberals commission of bc and more um, you know and we talk to her all the time she always believe in crime prevention and she collaborated with options community services helping them set up a daycare in now nursery high school so there is a lot of accomplishments there is a lot of boards and there is a lot of other things we can talk about you know that judy was uh, married to pat higam botham 
that we, our community knew him very well. They were married for 50 years. Unfortunately, Pat was uh, passed away on January 10th, 2020. Uh, Judy was counselor, as I mentioned. 25 years counselor de torte. Phir in a member of parliament we election ladea 2015 from South Surrey White Rock unsuccessfully. And um, kafi in the lama chora experience hai. Kafi boards te halevi sarv kar rahe hai. But welcome to CJ Sidhu show. Uh, <laughs> such a call, CJ. So, Thank you so much for asking me, and it was so nice to meet you the other day as we're walking the <laughs> pier in White Rock, yes. and you made me walk twice, so I had a chance to <laughs> chat with you. Yes. So, so yeah. nice to see you. Yeah, Thank that you. was so nice to touch base, and whenever I see an old politician, sometimes I bump into Diane Wars, sometimes Ginny Sims, you know, the people who walk Harry Baines, at the White Rock Beach because I live close there now. So when when I see them and meet them and talk to you, I said, you know, why don't you come on my show and put a little bit of light to what is going on? So let's start with uh, Judy, with all your accomplishments and all your contributions. Where you are right now? Well, CJ, I am retired and have been, well, in 2008, I retired from council. And then I uh, contracted a year with the Crime Prevention Society in Surrey. And then I retired for Rio because Pat and I wanted to travel, but he wasn't well, so it wasn't easy for him to travel. So I did a bit. And retirement, I found caregiving for a long time until Pat passed away. And then we had his celebration of life, which many people came, you know, far more than we January realized 26. or anticipated. And then I was going to travel and lo and behold, COVID hit. So I spent two or three years at home sort of figuring out what am I going to do for the rest of my life? One was travel, one was look after my grandson, and one was get involved in the community, which I always have been, which Pat always has been, and which my family is. My son, Britton, owns a skateboard shop and is always involved in helping youth. My daughter is a vice principal in Victoria and doing such a good job. I'm so proud of both of my, our kids. And besides family and all my activities, then I'm just keeping myself busy and ensuring that I age gracefully. <laughs> That's so nice. So, I asked you that you have been doing a lot of life. So, I know that you have been doing a lot of life. You have been doing a lot of past away. So, the last two years before he died, you have been doing a lot of caregiver. You have been doing a lot of care. You have been doing a lot of care. You have been doing a lot of care. But, you have been doing a lot of care. जिधे चंगे मतलब फैमिलियां चंगियां फैमिलियां डजन मैटर की रंगे है थोड़ा की रेस है की थोड़ा रिलिजन है सो पंजाब साले ना दी मैरिज रही है ते पिछले दो साले ना पूरा डेडिकेट की था पैट दी केयर करने दी वो दी डेथ तो बाद फिर ना देखा कि मैं हूँ की करना है ये ना दो बच्चे हैं एक वाइस प्रिंसिपल है विक्टोरिया बेटी है जड़ी बेटा है थे वो तो स्केटबोर्ड शॉप है सो इन्हें तो कहना है यार कि मैं अपने वेरी प्रोडक्टिव लाइफ भी एजिंग ग्रेसफुली ऐसे उम्र दे बेचे फिर भी कम्युनिटी दे बेचे जड़ा इन्हें ना इन्वॉल्वमेंट है सो जुडी व्हाट डू यू सर्व राइट नाउ व्हिच बोर्ड्स एंड वेल आई Toastmasters clubs, and I serve as vice uh, president of education there, setting up agendas and organizing the meetings. <coughs> I also belong to the Semiamu Rotary, in which we do an annual golf game, and we always need sponsors for that. And the golf game raises $100,000, which we donate to um, communities. I'm also on the international board in Rotary, and I have traveled to India a couple of times. Oh, nice. I stayed in Chiliki, which is just in the Jilander area, and my girlfriend set up a sewing class for young women in India, and we, through our Rotary, support it. And we have a women's Rotary club there that helps us, so we make it work. We have graduated probably 
15 young women there who know how to sew and can make a living for themselves. So that's one area. But one that's very close to my heart, too, is arts, theater, and culture. So I serve on the Surrey City Orchestra Board of Directors, and we are trying to establish Surrey's symphony orchestra in there. But it, it was really a struggle. It was all organized and ready to go before COVID, and then COVID shut everything <laughs> down, and so we now have to start over again. So we need to raise funds, and we need to get our name out there. So we are trying. Now, I did see the mayor's um, address that was um, there, and she said they're going to make two areas of entertainment in Surrey. One will be the Surrey City Center, and the other will be Cloverdale. Well, I'm kind of poking for South Surrey, too. I think we should put a Surrey School of Fine Arts and Theater in the South Surrey area. It's where a lot of theaters thrive. We used to have a Shakespearean theater there, and I think we should try and establish that again. So <coughs> that's the one that I'm, I'm working on. But you also... So, uh, Judy, I asked you, what are you doing today? So, I want to say that we have a lot of organizations in organization that we have served. And uh, there are Toastmasters, two Toastmasters in the group. There are 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 two Toastmasters in the group. ते इंडिया उठे जड़े है गया यंग पीपल उन अधिक जड़ी ऐसी हेल्प कर दें हैं बाकी ये ना जड़ा पैशन है गया आर्ट्स थिएटर एंड कल्चर सो उधे सदका ये ना ने कहा कि मैं मेर दा एड्रेस सुने हैं मेर ब्रेडा लॉक दा ते उन ने कई प्रोग्राम लिखे हैं सिटी ऑफ सरी दें क्लोवरडेल्स पर एक ने मेरी यह so, I think that there are some programs that are going to be done, because there are some organizations that are going to be in arts culture. So, Judy, that's a good segue to start with. So, you've been a counselor for 25 years. Yes. And the way, and you've gone through like four or five mayors. Yes, yes. And, you know, I was looking there, from um, Bob Bose to Doug McCullum to <laughs> Diane Wards to, you know. So all these guys, you have a lot of experience. Uh, first of all, tell me, what, what do you like the most working with which mayor over the years? It's a difficult question, I know. <laughs> yes, <coughs> but you missed one mayor out, which was Dan the Ross. mayor, that Don Ross, who yeah. invited me along with Paul Easton and Bill Fomich, and you would remember them. That goes back to the 1980s. Yeah. And they invited me to run for council because I had run for another office, and they had seen me um, speaking and you know, running an election. So they said, Judy, I want you to come here. So I must say, I really was very um, fond of Don Ross and Bill and, and Paul because they helped me get into politics, and then they guided me along the way. But Bob Bowes and I had a very, very good relationship in that we, uh, <laughs> we, were, we, were, we butted heads a lot. <clears throat> but Bob and I would go out after council, and then we would, I would say, you know, Bob, I know that was a trick motion, and I'm going to figure out what it is you want to get out of it, and then I'm going to come <laughs> back after you for spades. And he and I had a great respect for one another. Yeah. He was absolutely brilliant. He was, um, you know, His a His son is consular now. Yes, and right. Mike Bose is a friend of mine, and I'm very fond of the Bose family. In fact, Bob and I still talk. And then I worked um, with Doug McCallum. And I knew how to work with Doug McCallum. Doug and I got along very well, which I did with, with most mayors. And we, we, 
when I needed something, I would go to Doug and I would tell him how I'm going to vote on that. I would tell him yay or nay. And then Doug understood that I wouldn't blindside him or make a big deal of it on council. So he understood and he would act accordingly. So we worked well together on council. And then I worked with Diane Watts and it was wonderful to see under her leadership how Surrey began to change and grow and how it started to become the downtown area where the high rises started. It started, it was the beginning of being a proper city. And the high rises began, now we've got to get our theater downtown, we've yes. got to get some of the, the, <coughs> the activities that people want to do in their own city. Yeah, so, I asked Judy, she said, she did a lot of work for the mayor. And when you are 25 years in the council, so Don Ross, then they came and approached them, then they came. Then Bob Boss, who was mayor, he said, he was going to fight me, but he was going to talk to me about it. You know how the politics works. Then Doug McCallum also said, when there was an issue, we would talk about it. And that's the way politics should be. Yes. Yeah. And Diane Ward said, that's the way politics should be. And that's the way politics should be. And Diane Ward said, that's the way politics should be. असली जो उ डाउन टाउन सरी के सिटी सेंटर प्लेस के सारा लैके गए कहती वह बहुत सोहना उपराला सो इन्ह ने कहा भी जिन्हें भी मैं मेयरस ना सर्व किया रैलेटिवली कई बार थोड़े यू नो यू हैव समाइम्स यू नो नॉट ए मिस अंडरसटैंडिंग बस डिफरेंट ओपीनियनस एंड डिफरेंट वे ऑफ डूइंग थिंगस बट यू नो ओल टाइम्स इट people worked together and it worked out. You know, CJ, <coughs> that that's, was a given years ago. Like, the art of politics is, is cooperation, right? I mean, you learn how to compromise now and again on issues. You win some, you lose some. You, lose you put some. your yeah. hand up and vote, and then the issue is, is over. Now, it's never... And plus, never, it's not at that time, Well, Julie's. it's not antagonistic. It was not personal. It, it, well, and that's the truth. It, it's getting too personal now. I mean, sometimes you, you look at the issues, and I will say that the issues are not fought over. It's the personal issues. There's the personal attacks, and that is debilitating, and it really uh, makes, gives politics such a bad name, but also True. politicians, because they're fighting so much amongst yeah. each other, putting each other down so much, that everybody looks at it and says, well, what's the matter with, you know, politics is, is so wrong, everybody's bad in politics. And so, Sadi Galchari, a uh, uh, former councillor of Surrey, Judy Higginbotham, and a lot of people have been talking about it. They said that there was a lot of time in Sadi Galchari, there was no opinion of Sadi Galchari. वो तो थोड़ी ग्रेस होती सी ते असी अपने हाउस दे वेच जिधो भी गाल होनी है डिफरेंट ओपिनियन होनी है बाद दे वेच असी गाल बात करनी है वो अपने बड़ा क्लासी जिया सिस्टम सी का सारे पॉलिटिक्स दे वेच प्रोविंशली और फेडरली होने लोग की इन्हने क्या कि थोड़े जे पर्सनल अटैक करन लग पे ते जड़ी I think Brenda Locke came on a little too strong and a little too strident at the beginning, uh, bringing the RCMP issue and the Surrey police issue and locking horns. And prior to that, to CJ, she had attacked um, the mayor in question and jumped on the bandwagon of the RCMP. And then it became a full out battle. And yeah. it was one or the other. And there was no leeway one way or the other. I mean, it was, it, it yes. was really a solid and very difficult to watch as, as a voter thinking, why are you dealing with that? Sit down and talk this through. And let's, let's find some sense. The RCMP had served well all during my term. But I will say that I went through probably um, there would be seven or eight chief superintendents of RCMP while I was in Surrey. I was head of the RCMP or the police committee as we call it and worked very closely with them. The superintendents were wonderful. They were good, but they were the RCMP and they took orders from Ottawa. 
because they are out federal. in Ottawa. They're yeah. a federal organization, and the RCMP paid a stipend, like a 10% or 14% yes. per person, so any time they wanted, they could deploy 50 to 100 of our RCMP uh, and put them in Banff when we had a, an international conference with all the leaders of the world, put them into the Olympics when they needed 100 people, and they would be gone for six or eight months. Plus that, we would always be down 100 in our complement because we never could fulfill the numbers there. Then you add on a few for harassment or sick leave or whatever. So it became really challenging to have our full complement of RCMP there. So I asked them to ask Brenda Locke about it. She said that when it started, it was a big deal politically. वो पुलिस इशू टॉप इशू बन गया वो जी आर सी एम पी वर्सिज सरी पुलिस के चक्कर के उसते सारा फोकस होने करके इन्होंने कहा पुराने टाइम जो ये अपने वन टाइम शी वॉज चेयर ऑफ द पुलिस कमीशन एंड इन्हों पता भी सारे जो आर सी एम पी सुपरिटेंडेंट जो होंगे वो मीटिंग होंगे से उन्होंने गलबात करी दी सी डिस्कशन हों पर ऑर्डर फैडरली ऑटवा तो आते क्योंकि इस फैडरल जुजटीकेशन सो उन्होंने गलबात होंगी जो बड़े सोहने तरीके गलत चल दी सी एंड जोड़ा हूँ डिस्क कनैक्ट हो जोड़े जो बैटल हो एंड वो करके जोड़ा है सारे जो बाकी इशूज़ है उन्होंने साइड ट्रैक किया वट यू थिंक अबाउट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस बैटल आर सी एम पी वर्सिज सरी पुलिस सर्विस एस पी एस वी कॉल इट <clears throat> now the provincial government made it a scene. They want to give them 150 million over five years for a transition. What do you think? What do you think they should be doing or what is the right thing to do? Well, the right thing to do, I think, is to complete the transition. They, we, the, we're still in phase one of going through the transition. It started in 2018. They have hired close to 300 Surrey police service officers, and they are still under the jurisdiction of the RCMP. As soon as they get more police officers with the Surrey Police Service, then they will then transfer the, um, the jurisdiction over to the local police force. Now the province did, you know, say, look, we know it's going to cost more money, probably $30 million more per year, depending yes. on what it, it on what exactly you are doing, et cetera, et cetera. But we will give you $150 million to do it. They gave her every opportunity to gracefully take it and say, I still would like the RCMP. However, she will have the RCMP there because they will be doing um, metro work. They will be working with gangs. They will be doing um, money laundering issues. They will be doing uh, any type of homicides. And they will be working that's a, in that's the That's a very good segue from this one. So, I asked you what's going on. They said that they have 150 million जी है ऑफर लैके क्योंकि दो हज़ार अठारह तो चली जाता सो ये ट्रांजिशन इन्हों कंप्लीट करनी चाहिए है एंड दैन शी सैड देर इज ए सर्टन थिंगस दैट आर सी एम पी और स्पैशलाइज इन डूइंग दे कैन डू दैट एंड दैन सरी पुलिस सर्विस कैन डू दैट क्योंकि इन्हों ज जिमें जिमें पुलिस सर्विस सो ट्रांजिशन है सरी पुलिस सर्विस स्टिल वर्क अंडर आर सी एम पी अकोर्डिंग टू जू डी एग बोत एंड सो यू वॉट यू थिंक इज I I had that conversation with Gordy Hogue one time came on my show when he was running for mayor. Um, isn't that a solution that RCMP still after the transition can work together? What you were mentioning, mm -hmm. uh, money laundering or you know special projects or. You know, when I first started working with the RCMP there, the RCMP would not, um, they, they really didn't cooperate fully with the local police forces around here, Delta and Langley. Over the years, they began to cooperate more, and it happened. But what we found out was the RCMP were better suited to very in-depth investigations. And nationally and internationally, doing some of the investigations that they need, and they're always saying they do not have enough manpower. 
True. But and and now if we take them away from the repositories or the municipalities and and hire local police there who walk the beat who get to know the neighborhood who really and truly live in the neighborhood yes. then i think it's more mm -hmm. of a, a it, it we can make we can put together a made a modern made in Surrey police force. And, and that was what I was thinking. If that's the direction we're going in, that would be very positive for Surrey. But the RCMP will always be there because you cannot do without them. In the, in the, the homicides, I mean, we've had some pretty difficult uh, shootings down here and some that they don't seem these young people that are involved in gangs are really and truly need hardcore policing in the area. They need better enforcement. Yes. They need better rehabilitation. I'm this this harm reduction program. I think has maybe gone a little too far. We have to pull it back a bit and make sure that there are some checks and balances on it. And you. If you have somebody that is going to go in the gang, you need programs. We've got so many programs. Uh, CJ, if we look on my cell phone, I could see dozens of different programs that would help youth. There's lots happening out there, but we're not connected. Yeah. So, I asked you that there is a disconnect between RCMP and Surrey Police Services. I asked you that there is a lot of work to do. Judy said for sure. Matlab jade jade sari di problems hai, sari di jade police officer hai. O sari jirendi hai, sari vechar de hai. Unadi family utte rendi hai. They know sari very well. O nam den baki kahi jade homicide, jade big project hai gaya. Ki jade o kende e ida survive ni hona. Kali RCMP to bina sari police services kali ni handle kar sakdi. Because there is a lot of things that can be done. Then they said that gangs and violence were done. Now, the gangs are the same. They can't stop the police force. Judy said that there are 25 organizations. They have their youth, their young people, 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 programs hai gaya. So Judy, that's where, that was my, another way of like switching the gear, like youth and gangs and you know, like, you know, they're getting into a lifestyle that recently mm -hmm. happened in uh, White Rock, mm -hmm. like a day, like in the night time. Yeah. Like these are getting lately out of hand, the crimes. Well, it, it, it is, uh, getting out of hand and there seems to be no rhyme or reason i mean they all of a sudden their flare-ups or you hear gunshots but they had an automatic weapon in the last shooting in south Surrey yeah. area in roper and parker and it was it was very disturbing to the neighborhood um, friends live in the area and i you and i live very close there so we we really and truly are getting a little concerned about of it of course but then when you hear from victoria where the police are saying in Victoria that there are young recruits going into elementary schools and trying to get young people to, uh, they will give them money if they can get people to get into vaping and they give them vapes and whatever and then they bring them in. By the time these young people realize what they're doing, they owe people favors and then it's hard to get back out yeah. again. So I said gangs, lifestyle, and white rock shooting. Judy said that they were living with friends. I said that I'm not very far. They said that this is a lifestyle. People are concerned. In their neighborhoods, they are less and less. Then Judy said that this is an elementary school or early middle school. They started to work. First, they were vaping or they were giving money for money. Then they were giving money for gang lifestyles. Oh, 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 attract kar de hai. And, uh, and then it's a vicious circle, mm -hmm, Judy, that, yeah. uh, you know, the vulnerable people, you, you give them some money or give them a yes, cell phone yeah, or yeah. that kind of things. And mm -hmm. slowly, like the, you know, it's, it's crazy that how well, young people are getting into this lifestyle. 
Well, it, it, it is crazy. And the reason the police are speaking out in Victoria is they're thinking of taking the police out of the schools, the liaison police. And I remember my kids years ago when I was chief of the police committee and, and I was saying, well, what is happening down at the corner of 128th and 16th? Because they were having rumbles or little whatever down there. I said, do you guys go down there? And they said, well, yeah. And I said, well, what's happening? And says, well, we're not telling you. You're head of the chief, the police chief. <laughs> I said, come on. You know, I said, if something is happening down there, then we better get somebody down there to make sure that nobody gets hurt. I mean, come on, you, you know, you have to deal with that. So it, it was, my kids were, they, there was not a good feeling about police. And that was one of the reasons I think the Vancouver was looking at taking police out is because some of the newcomers are not feeling comfortable with police. Well, if you take them out, they'll never get comfortable with them. So of course you must have them there. Have them talk to the kids, talking about drugs, leaving hints and brochures how to get help. And, and trying to become a helper rather than somebody they see as an enforcer. You yeah. Know? So, they asked me that there are problems like youth and gangs and stuff. They said that when I was a young man, when there was a problem, I was the chair of the police commission, and I asked them that there was 128 and 16th Avenue, which was the White Rock, Crescent Beach area, and it was going on. We, what's going on? Oh, police, all I can say, we can't tell you. You're the police. You know, you're the chief commissioner, and uh, oh, certain things you can't disclose it. But they said, what do you enforce them? They said, what do you want to educate them? They said, what do you want to do? That's a lot of important. So, Judy, let's switch some gear, and <laughs> we have a lot of issues to cover. Uh, how you deal with aging? Like you, you taking care of yourself. We walk at, the, bump into you at the beach. That's a good thing. Mm. First thing in the morning. Sorry, I have to walk you a little <laughs> bit more than. No, thank you, thank you. That uh, <laughs> it's, it's one of the favorite things because I, you know, aging is something you can't stop. Everybody <laughs> is, is aging, and and how do you do so gracefully? Well, you look after yourself. I figure out, and my granny being of Icelandic and we have good genes and all of that, the Scandinavian genes, but I've always believed in moderation and balance. Like balance my life out. I sleep well because I exercise. I was always, a phys well I was a phys ed teacher at one point, as well as English, and I did teach health and personal development too, by the way. But I, I always believed that exercise was good for you. So about when I was 38, I figured, you know, I may grow to be old, and I am, and I will. <laughs> so I better start looking after myself. So at 38, I, I started doing a revamp, and I looked at my, my food and whatever, so I started gardening, and I had this beautiful garden in the area. I did more exercise with the kids, and we always had an acre there when we had every kid in the I've neighborhood there. there. <laughs> yes, you were. And we had, we had ponds and fish and trampolines and whatever, so the neighborhood used my backyard as, as a park. And then we, I fed a lot of them too, you know, so we, would, we ate well out of the garden. And, and then you socialize. You always have friends. You know, you, you, you do not disconnect from people. You True. keep connected and you keep your family close and your friends closer and your enemies as close <laughs> Even to more and close. And there, there you go. <laughs> and in politics, that does happen, doesn't it? But, but, you know, you. so I've learned to moderate. So now that I am, you know, 80, I want to tell you that I, I do. I, I exercise. I make sure I go down and walk and in the hopes I might meet you, CJ, and <laughs> maybe one day Gail will be yeah. there too. But and then we, you know, I do most of my cooking and I post my meals yes, on at yes. night. Maybe you've That's seen so them on tempting. my post. <laughs> yes. And and then I, you know, as I say, I, I keep busy. I'm so social. I'm speaking. I have so many friends. And, and life is good for me because I make it that way. That's so nice. So, I have a lot of people who are 
ਕਿ ਆਪਣਾ ਗੁਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਜੁੜੀ 80 ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਆ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪੇ ਹੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਮਰ ਤਾਂ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਲੇਡੀ ਦੀ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਠੀਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਬਟ ਐਨੀਵੇਜ਼ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਸੈਡ ਦੈਟ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਵੀ ਇਹਦਾ ਫਾਰਮੂਲਾ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਗੱਲ ਤਾਂ ਸਕੈਂਡੀਨੇਵੀਅਨ ਉਥੋਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਬੈਕਗ੍ਰਾਉਂਡ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਫਿਰ ਇਹਨੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਜੀਨਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੜੇ ਵਧੀਆ ਹੈਗੇ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਹੈ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਗੁੱਡ ਜੀਨਸ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਜੀ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਐਕਸਰਸਾਈਜ਼ ਹੈ ਬਾਕੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ 38 ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਸੀ ਉਦੋਂ ਤੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਡਿਸਾਈਡ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਨਿਆਣਿਆਂ ਲਈ ਟ੍ਰੈਂਪਲੀਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਖੇਡਣਾ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਨੀ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਕਰਨਾ ਕੁਕਿੰਗ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਆਪਦੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਬਜ਼ੀਆਂ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਲਾਉਣੀਆਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਤੀਆਂ ਸੀ ਐਂਡ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਐਂਡ ਇਹ ਵੈਰੀ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਜਾਣ ਦਾ ਮੌਕਾ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਏਕੜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਘਰ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਸਾਊਥ ਸਰੀਜ ਤੇ ਸੋਸ਼ਲਾਈਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਉਹ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਕੀਪ ਪੀਪਲ ਕਲੋਜ਼ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਤੇ ਜੇ ਥੋੜੇ ਕੋਈ ਦੁਸ਼ਮਣੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਕਲੋਜ਼ ਰੱਖੋ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਯੂ نو ਐਂਡ ਆਫ ਦ ਡੇ ਨੋ ਬੜੀ ਜ਼ ਦੁਸ਼ਮਣ ਸੋ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਕੁਕਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਬੜੇ ਸ਼ਕੀਨ ਹੈ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਪਿਕਚਰਾਂ ਵੀ ਪਾ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਐਂਡ ਕੀਪ ਯੂਰ ਸੈਲਫ ਬਿਜ਼ੀ ਮਤਲਬ ਬੁਢਾਪੇ ਦੀਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਬੜੇ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਫਾਰਮੂਲੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਐਂਡ ਵਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਕੈਚ ਆਫਟਰ ਕੋਵਿਡ ਯੂ نو ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ and they gone into isolation because they don't have a friends mm-hmm. they you know because they never socialize and then they already you know and a lot of social problems you mm-hmm. know drinking and drug mm-hmm. abuse and spousal yeah. abuse and there those kind of there was an uptake in alcohol during uh, covid certainly yeah. and people did cocoon uh, the the ones that were most socially isolated were seniors who were seniors. in homes yes. because they they did not allow visitors at that point and that was sad that was that was dreadful and many of them just were totally isolated so what you have to do and what i did there was a course that we had that a friend who was with my toastmasters group came and said judy you have to come to this course We're going to do part of it is going to be on mental health and reevaluating your life at this point after covid um uh, as you age etc because it was for seniors and the second part of the course was storytelling it was learning how to tell your story so i said oh sounds like fun but i don't have time he phoned again a week later and said judy make time you'll really enjoy it i said okay i will make time part of it was a mental health issue and it was getting through uh being isolated and being lonely because loneliness is one of the biggest issues with it seniors is. Yeah, yeah so that was where we did social trips we went and visited um did a wine tour we went and then did a cider tour as well we went to theater we went to the festival of lights we went to uh visit a, a buddhist temple we did all those things but then we started writing our stories and i get another phone call and it says judy i want you to write a story from one of your stories and i we're going to publish it in a book so <laughs> a, a few months later i am a published author there's a book called shuri suri shares stories and it has about 25 or 30 stories in them including mine which is on one of my travels when i traveled into East Germany and Budapest when I was a young woman by myself and and the adventures that I had traveling alone and there were many others there um of all different authors that um have indeed done that we then did a a, a workshop with taking photographs and writing a theme on what we believe uh this connection and this getting active and getting involved does for you so i did hands around a circle and talked about working and helping each other and working together working together you you accomplish so much more <laughs> so much than more. working singularly and and butting heads you know so yeah. we we did that which and it's on display or was on display at the surrey museum of which i'm on the board too by the way so it it you know there's been so many things that have enriched so, my life so in the jadi main gal jadi chal rahi si ਪੀਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਏਜਿੰਗ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬੁਢਾਪਾ ਆ ਇਹ ਬੜਾ ਔਖਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਆ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਸਿਆਣੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਬਿਗੈਸਟ ਚੈਲੰਜ ਕੋਵਿਡ ਤੋਂ ਗੱਲ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਈ ਸੀ ਵੀ ਉਦੋਂ ਇਕੱਲਾ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਲੋਨਲੀਲੈਸ ਆਪਾਂ ਕ
ਸੋ ਉਹ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਈ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਅਪਰੋਚ ਕੀਤਾ ਫਿਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਟੈਲਿੰਗ ਕੋਈ ਗਰੁੱਪ ਸੀਗਾ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਟਾਈਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਫਿਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੋ ਡਿਊਰਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਦਰ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਕੇਮ ਆਊਟ ਇਵਨ ਅ ਬੁੱਕ ਕੇਮ ਆਊਟ ਕਿ ਵਾਈਨ ਟੂਰ ਤੇ ਗਏ ਥੀਏਟਰਸ ਤੇ ਗਏ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਦੈਨ ਦ ਬੁੱਕ ਕੇਮ ਆਊਟ ਸਰੀ ਸ਼ੇਅਰਡ ਸਟੋਰੀਜ਼ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਂ ਫਰੈਂਡਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਂ ਸੋਸ਼ਲਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੋਰ ਐਂਡ ਮੋਰ ਜੇ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਬੁਢਾਪੇ ਦੀਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਆ ਉਹ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਪਿਕ ਅਪ ਅ ਹੌਬੀ ਔਰ ਡੂ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਫੈਮਲੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਂਡ ਆਊਟਸਾਈਡ ਆਫ ਦ ਫੈਮਲੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਸੋਸ਼ਲਾਈਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲਣਾ ਜੁਲਣਾ ਬਾਹਰ ਫਰੈਂਡਸ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲਣਾ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਗਰੁੱਪ ਹੈ ਹੁਣ ਆਪਣੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਹੈ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਪਾਰਕ ਵਗੈਰਾ 'ਚ ਮਿਲਦੇ ਆ ਤਾਸ਼ ਖੇਡ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਆ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਬਾਤਾਂ ਕਰ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਵੀ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ 'ਚ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਥੋੜੀ ਚੈਸ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਬੜਾਸ ਕੱਢਣੀ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਮੋਸਟ ਕਿਲਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਯੂਰ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਐਂਡ ਟਾਕ ਟੂ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਰੀਲੀ ਲਵ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਰੀਲੀ ਕੇਅਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਬਟ ਦ ਬੁੱਕ ਬਾਈ ਦ ਵੇ ਇਜ਼ ਫੋਰ ਸੇਲ ਔਨ ਐਮਾਜ਼ਨ ਓਕੇ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਬੈਸਟ ਸੈਲਰ ਔਨ ਐਮਾਜ਼ਨ ਇਟਸ ਆਦਰ ਫੋਰ ਸੇਲ ਆਲਸੋ ਫੋਰ ਸੇਲ ਐਟ ਬੈਸਟ ਬੋਨ ਬੁੱਕਸ ਵਿਚ ਆ ਲੋਕਲ ਬੁੱਕ ਸਟੋਰ ਬਟ ਵਨ ਮੋਰ ਥਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਆਈ ਡਿਡ ਵੀ ਡਿਡ ਅ ਪਿਨ ਅਪ ਕੈਲੰਡਰ Mm-hmm. with um a group of seniors and that calendar was for sale too i'm not sure it's on it's it's through glitter and grace but it is a, a pin up calendar which we did and all the seniors got all the women got together and and one man who drove a red truck who was who was there was all retro and looking at the 50s and 60s and it was fun and so pin up is, calendar tell me a little bit more what is that calendar well, a calendar is where you have a picture of of a senior woman every month in there and oh, okay. i was i don't know i can't remember what month i was in but <laughs> i did bring a bathing suit and i did put a bathing suit oh, on okay. and i got that made was up. my next question i was a little <laughs> concerned about and that and then yes and then i i was they they did our makeup they did our hair and then they took photographs in this wonderful setting uh, close to some of the uh old fashioned or or um heritage cars that they had mm-hmm. and then we sold the the calendar for about $26 i believe and it was then raising money for our seniors group oh, so okay. yeah so it was so all of those things this is what it is that interesting fun. and we do all these these things to keep ourselves um busy. you know busy, busy yeah busy but but joyful and joyful. and, and yeah, full yeah. of positive and, and you know? positive you know because yeah yeah life can get you down sometimes so these are things that really yeah. and this is part of aging gracefully is yes. really and truly doing the things that that bring joy <clears throat> yeah so man and puchaj be aging gracefully matlab jadon bada hona aaya ਉਹਨੂੰ ਗ੍ਰੇਸਫੁਲੀ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਬੁੜਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਆ ਇੱਜ਼ਤ ਨਾਲ ਮਾਨ ਨਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬੁੜੇ ਹੋਣਾ ਆ ਸੋ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਬੁੱਕ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਸਰੀ ਸ਼ੇਅਰਡ ਸਟੋਰੀਜ਼ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਐਮਾਜ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਸੇਲ ਤੇ ਐਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਇੱਕ ਸਟੋਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਸਾਊਥ ਸਰੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੇਮੀਆਮ ਮਾਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਬੁੱਕ ਮਿਲ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਪਿਨ ਅਪ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੈਲੰਡਰ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਫਿਰ ਐਵਰੀ ਮੰਥ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਲੇਡੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਜੁਡੀ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਮੈਂ ਆਪ ਦਾ ਬੇਦਿੰਗ ਸੂਟ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਫਿਰ dress up karke and you know and uh, you not like a play boy kind of calendar <laughs> no just like remember the pin ups during the war where they had these these um they had aprons and this, you know for for whatever but they're they're very very they're maybe saucy a bit saucy but they're they're just they're, not that. they're very yeah right they're, they're, and it was just fun and but it was a bathing suit that i had when i was like about 16 which was up here and had had little boy legs i mean the, the bathing suits now are totally different cj yeah, I and know. these <laughs> so this was an old fashioned bathing suit yeah. not one of the newer ones but so man i'll push that ki jada inna da calendar hai kyunki oh kai sare de calendar nikalde rehnde hai na fire people they have <laughs> calend
one way or the other. Mm. When I was looking your bio and before coming to this interview, I said, wow. Like I sometimes wonder uh, how you get so much time to serve on so many boards and do so much. Well, I, I guess I spread myself thin, but my days are <laughs> getting up. I get up fairly early in the morning and I'm at my computer and deleting. I, I subscribe to I don't know how many newspapers and then go through my emails. And then I drive my grandson too to preschool. I help out with, with him three or four days a week. And so that keeps me busy. And I just, I have my apartment, which I, or my townhouse now, which backs on to a lovely place. I'm half a block from the mall. And I've got so many friends. I just, I, I truly have, um, I'm blessed. I have a, a good life and, and I truly enjoy it. But I would not and could not do it without being busy. But every so often you get exhausted. So I oh, travel. Course. So I've been to India. I've got a trip planned to Iceland and Spain in April. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to go on a safari soon. We were trying to go in to Kenya in the summer, but that was postponed to maybe October. I am also was in Mazatlan at Christmas with my family, and we go to Tofino every summer and Pender oh, nice. Island. So we, you know, we, we do go many places, mm -hmm. and I still want to do still some international time to travel. <laughs> well, before yeah. I get to the point where it would be difficult to travel or true, I become a burden yeah. or I can't walk 10 true, blocks. True. Yeah. Yeah. ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਵੀ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਟਾਇਰਿੰਗ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਮਰ ਦੇ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਨਾਲ ਪਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਦੇਖ ਲਓ ਆਪਦਾ ਗ੍ਰੈਂਡਸਨ ਹੈ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਛੱਡ ਕੇ ਆਉਣਾ ਸਕੂਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਚੱਕਣਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਤਿੰਨ ਚਾਰ ਦਿਨ ਹਫਤੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਐਕਸਟੈਂਸਿਵਲੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਹੁਣ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਆਏ ਸੀ ਪਰ ਹੁਣ ਆਈਸਲੈਂਡ ਜਾਣਾ ਸਪੇਨ ਜਾਣਾ ਉਹ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਮੁੜ ਕੇ ਆਉਣਾ ਫਿਰ ਅਫਰੀਕਾ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਫਾਰੀ ਟੂਰ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਥਿੰਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ نو ਯੂ نو ਇਟਸ ਇਟਸ ਆਲਮੋਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ you know aging can be a blessing mm -hmm. well, and it is it's a gift <laughs> yeah it is a gift and you know and you gather so much experience and so much wisdom what do you say about that because you know lot of you know education is good thing and i always talk about that and a lot of seniors with no education but they have a, such a wisdom that you know you always I say that sit with a senior mm -hmm. person and you will get gems of real life. You know, I, I just finished the book um, on the blue zones and it talks about the areas where people live the longest. Uh, there's, one, there's a place in Greece, there's a place in India, <coughs> there are, are places around the world. And I heard and about France we, too, in a certain yes. part of France. <coughs> yes. <clears throat> and what we know is that the people live a very simple life. They eat um, very simple foods, but they keep together as a family. They're very social. They walk a great deal. Many of the areas where they have hills, they go up and down the hills. Um, <coughs> and they live to be over a hundred. And, the, and it gives you the insight on what keeps people alive. And a lot of it has to do with the family and the socialization. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so, our Judy said that there is a book that has blue zones. So, it has written a book that has written a book. And the people uh, live the longest. It has written a book. Greece, hoya, India, hoya. other parts of the world jide hoye hai par unna da jehda basic formula simple hai simple life simple food and they walk a lot matlab ek koi matlab koi magic nahi hega and uh, and that's what the family and socialization matlab basically apa jinni marzi kitaban pad liye end of the day the end result is yeah, like yeah. this well <clears throat> what we know is that they, they eat food around close to where they live and they, they grow a lot of it. <laughs> they do exercise because they walk everywhere. Yes. Um, they are close to the family and many of the family looks after 
the elders, like they look after the seniors yes. and they deal with the seniors. And, and, and they, very respectful. And very respectful. And that's where I think the wisdom is that when you, when you have, you don't need, I, I, I'm a teacher and I understand that education is important when you're young. So I push my kids to educate themselves. And my daughter has a master's in, in education. And my son has taken many, many courses on sales and, 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 and dealing with people and is very good at it. But what they do is they learn from the, the people around them. They, they deal with uh, reading books. My daughter reads books like I do. I've, I've finished, I don't know how many, the last little while. I've got a good one. I'm just starting on, uh, um, what is it, Killers of the Flower Moon, which I haven't seen the movie yet, and I won't see the movie until after I read this story. That's because Gail I, I, does I, the I, same I thing. That, and, and you she likes to, to read the book if the movie is based on the book. And then you, yes, exactly. So then you read a lot. And then you just live life and you gain that experience and that wisdom that you can share. My grandmother shared her wisdom with me. Wow. Like, Judy, you can do anything you want to do. Judy, you have to vote. My grandmother was the first one to wear, you know, uh, the silk, <laughs> silk stockings that could j just hold up by themselves rather than um, <laughs> anything else. I mean, she. She really taught me such a great deal. And, and so, how I... sorry to interrupt you, Judy. So, you know, I have a teacher and basically, the people longevity hai, yaan, lammi umar ne tapai hai. Una ne aha chijan jale aaj koi dekho na jale gems of the world. Halaki, ehe mera full purpose nahi si is topic the aging bare and how age well and age gracefully. But Judy karke aaj jada another experience hai. I political things, but I think it's a fitting uh, topic, and we are not finished yet, but they have to read books, and they have to read books, and they have to read books, and education is important, but life experience is also important. The rest of the world, 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 they take care of them, and that's what the community survive. So we have a couple of minutes left, uh, Judy, your final comments. Well, I, 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 you opened the program talking about Brian Mulroney, <coughs> and I have yeah. to say I met him a couple of times in my, when I was on the National Crime Prevention Society with the Federation of Canadian Municipalities. And I remember going up to him and I said, how are you, Mr. Mulroney? I said, I'm a liberal. And I know you're a conservative. My husband <laughs> is a conservative. And so we, we, we discussed a few little things. And then he said as we went, oh, by the way, little lady, give my best to your husband. <laughs> you know, so I mean, he had this quick wit and this sense of humor that you always saw, whether it was on television. And I've heard the comments today, and I've heard words like statesman and whatever. Yes, and I, I truly believe he, he was a statesman. And he was somebody I truly respected and enjoyed. Thank you, Judy, for coming on my show. And we are not quite finished. There's a lot to think. I will bring you on again. But thank you for your time and thank you for your wisdom. We greatly appreciate that. So Sadi Chalri is the longest serving 25 years as a councillor of the city of Surrey. Galasi Rajniti di Karnasi, but aging the Gal Chalagi very important because our population are aging and they're getting old, and age is very important. Some of them are not culturally, they don't have to say anything, they don't have to say anything. No, 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 no. This is a myth. This is not a culture, it's not a culture, it's not a culture, it's not a culture, it's not a culture. So this discussion is more and more, I bring more experts like Judy, and this is the program, you can see the feedback, so that we can make this program more and more. We have an extra day on the 29th of February, four years later, and we have a wonderful weekend, and have a wonderful weekend, and have a great time. Have a happy, healthy life. Thank you, Rabraka.